Welcome to Math 22 discussion video on lines and planes in R3. As you may have realized, R3 is a mathematical way to describe the three-dimensional space, which represents the physical world we are in. It goes without saying that this topic has several important real-life applications. Now, points, lines, and planes are some of the most basic structures in R3. So in order to familiarize ourselves with R3, we usually start with these basic objects. Now we try some practice problems. The first problem gives us three things. A point P with coordinates negative 6, 2, and 5. A line script L given by the parametric equations x equals 1 plus 3t, y equals 4, and z equals 3 plus t. And the plane pi given by the equation 5x minus 2y plus 2z minus 3 equals 0. The first thing we are asked to find are the symmetric equations of a line through P that is perpendicular to pi. To start, we let capital L be the line that we wish to find. To write an equation for capital L, or for any line in R3 in general, we need a point say R that lies in capital L and a direction vector which we will call V. Notice from the construction of the problem, we can already get a point R in capital L. Since capital L passes through P, we can take R to be the point P with coordinates negative 6, 2, and 5. Next, to get a direction vector V, recall that a normal vector N to the plane pi is perpendicular to pi. Since capital L must be perpendicular to the plane pi as well, we can simply take the direction vector V to be a normal vector to pi, say N with coordinates 5, negative 2, and 2. Finally, we set up the symmetric equations of capital L. So capital L is given by x minus the x-coordinate of r, which is negative 6, over the x-coordinate of v, which is 5, equals y minus the y-coordinate of r, which is 2, over the y-coordinate of v, which is negative 2, equals z minus the z-coordinate of r, which is 5, over the z-coordinate of v, which is 2. Simplifying, we get the symmetric equations x plus 6 over 5 equals 2 minus y over 2 equals z minus 5 over 2. Now, problem 1b asks us to find the parametric equations of the line contained in the plane pi that is perpendicular to the line script L at the point of intersection of script L and pi. First, we name the line that we wish to find as capital L. Again, to write an equation for capital L, we will need a point R in capital L and a direction vector which we will call V sub L. To get the point R in L, you must first understand the nature of intersection of script L and pi. There are only three possibilities. First, there may be no intersection, meaning script L and pi are parallel, but script L does not lie on the plane pi. Second, there may be infinitely many intersections, meaning script L and pi are parallel, and script L lies on pi. Lastly, there may be a single point of intersection, meaning script L and pi are not parallel. The first case cannot happen since capital L is assumed to be perpendicular to script L at the point of intersection of script L and pi. If there is no intersection in the first place, we cannot have a capital L. If we get the second or third case, we can take R to be a point of intersection of script L and pi. Now the equation for pi is 5x minus 2y plus 2z minus 3 equals 0. To check the intersection of script L and pi, we substitute the x, y, and z from script L to the equation for pi. So we get 5 times 1 plus 3t minus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3 plus t minus 3 equals 0. 
Distributing, we have 5 plus 15t minus 8 plus 6 plus 2t minus 3 equals 0. Simplifying this equation, we get 17t equals 0, and therefore we have t equals 0. Substituting t back to the parametric equations of script L, we get the unique point of intersection of script L and pi, which is the point with coordinates 1, 4, and 3. This was case 2 in our illustration, so we may take r to be the point with coordinates 1, 4, and 3, the unique point of intersection of script L and pi. Next, to get a direction vector v sub L, recall that capital L must be perpendicular to script L, so its direction vector v sub L must be perpendicular to a direction vector of script L, say the vector v with coordinates 3, 0, and 1. Also, capital L is contained in the plane pi, so its direction vector v sub L must be perpendicular to a normal vector of pi, say the vector n with coordinates 5, negative 2, and 2. Now a vector that is perpendicular to both v and n is the cross product between v and n. So we may take v sub l to be this cross product. To compute this cross product between v and n, we refer to the following matrix. This matrix has entries i, j, and k on the first row, the coordinates of vector v on the second row, and the coordinates of vector n on the third row. Excluding the first row, we look at the second and the third column to get the x-coordinate of v sub l. the third and the first column for the y-coordinate of v sub l, and the first and second column for the z-coordinate of v sub l. This gives us the vector v sub l equals the vector with coordinates 2, negative 1, and negative 6. Similarly, we can write it as follows. Finally, we set up the parametric equations for capital L. So we have x equals the x-coordinate of r, which is 1, plus the x-coordinate of v sub l, which is 2, times t. Then we have y equals the y-coordinate of r, which is 4, plus the y-coordinate of v sub l, which is negative 1, times t, and then we have z equals the z-coordinate of r, which is 3, plus the z-coordinate of v sub l, which is negative 6, times t. Simplifying, we get the following parametric equations for l. x equals 1 plus 2t, y equals 4 minus t, and z equals 3 minus 6t.